Ever wondered how to properly smoke a cigar? How to fully appreciate the rich flavors, the smooth draw, and the delicate aromas that a fine cigar has to offer? Well, today, we delve into the art of cigar smoking, from selecting the right cigar to properly lighting and smoking it. Let's start with the first step, selecting the cigar. A fine cigar is like a good book. It should be chosen with care and consideration. When looking for a cigar, pay attention to the color, size, and shape. Darker cigars tend to be stronger and more full-bodied, while lighter cigars are usually milder. The size and shape of the cigar can also affect the smoking experience. Longer cigars generally provide a cooler smoke, while thicker cigars offer a fuller flavor. Now, on to the second step, cutting the cigar. This is a crucial step, as a bad cut can ruin the smoking experience. A perfect cut should be just above the cap line of the cigar, allowing for a smooth draw without unraveling the wrapper. There are several tools you can use to cut a cigar, such as a guillotine cutter, a punch cutter, or a V cutter. Each provides a different type of cut and can affect the draw and flavor of the cigar. Now we come to the third step, lighting the cigar. This is where the magic begins. The key is to toast the foot of the cigar before fully lighting it. This allows the tobacco to warm up and the flavors to open up. Use a butane lighter or a wooden match for the best results. Avoid using a petrol lighter as it can impart unwanted flavors to the cigar. The fourth step, smoking the cigar. This is where you get to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Take a slow, steady draw and let the smoke fill your mouth. Do not inhale the smoke like you would with a cigarette. Instead, let it linger in your mouth to appreciate the flavors. A good cigar should be savored, not rushed. Take a puff every minute or so to keep the cigar lit and to maintain the flavors. Finally, the last step, resting and ashing the cigar. Allow the cigar to rest between puffs. This helps to cool down the cigar and enhances the flavors. When it comes to ashing, let the ash form a nice solid cylinder before gently tapping it off. Don't knock it off too early as the ash helps to regulate the burn of the cigar. So to summarize, choose your cigar with care, cut it correctly, light it properly, smoke it slowly and let it rest. Each step is crucial to the overall experience of smoking a cigar. It's not just about the smoke, it's about the ritual, the relaxation, and the appreciation of a finely crafted product. So the next time you light up a cigar, take a moment to appreciate the process and savor the experience. Remember, smoking a cigar is not a race, it's a journey. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. After all, life is too short to smoke bad cigars.